everyone, this is Bailey with Alley 55 Customs, and today I'm here to show you how to use the Power Probe ECT 3000. This is an, our new Power Probe product, and we did an unboxing video of it previously, and that is on our YouTube channel as well, and to show you all the different parts and how they work. And today I'm going to use it on my truck to show you how to use it on that on a vehicle. So to start out, the receiver has batteries that need to be put in just in the bottom. And then you plug these in together. And then these are the clamps to go to the battery. So there's a flat side and a round side on each one. You just plug that in. And you're going to do that. And then I will show you how to hook it up to the car. Alright, so here we have the battery clamps. And the red side is going to go to the positive, and the black side is going to go to the negative. You're going to hear your transmitter power up. You should have a light come on showing that it's open. And this is a speaker right there, and you can turn the speaker on or off using the tone on and off button. And it has a handle so you can prop it up from any place. Here we have our transmitter again. And the two wires coming out of it, the black one is the power lead, and that's going to lead to the battery. That's what we hooked the clamps up to. And it's going to have a 20-foot cord to ensure that we can go all the way around the car. And the green one is the signal lead, and this is what you plug the probes and the attachments into. And today we are going to use the blade probe, which is the shorter, flatter of the two. And it's specially designed for the fuse box. Where the blown fuse was, we are going to put it in the outgoing side. It's going to shoot a signal from the transmitter through the fuse. <clears throat> and it's going to shoot it into the wires that come out of that fuse, which are going to get picked up by the receiver. So the fuse that keeps blowing on us is a 40. And it attaches right in there. And that leads to the headlights, and our headlights aren't working because we have a short in the wiring and we want to figure out where it is. And the ECT3000 is going to save us a lot of time figuring out where the short is in the system. So we're going to take the signal lead with the blade probe, and then this one is the ingoing with the electricity. And then this is the outgoing, so you're just going to plug it right in there. And immediately, this shows that we have a short. And it has a speaker, and you're able to turn that off by pressing the tone off button. And so we are going to leave that in there, and I'm going to grab the receiver. This is our receiver, and this is going to pick up on the signals emitted from the signal lead through the fuse box and into the wires that come out of the fuse box. So the fuse that was shorted, the wires we're going to follow are through this big wiring harness all the way down. So we're going to use the receiver to follow those wires and figure out where the short is in those wires. So we're going to turn it on and it's immediately going to be put into pulse mode and that just means that it is detecting those signals that are being emitted from the signal lead. So what you're going to want to do is take the short side and kind of hover it right above the wiring harness that you're trying to find the short in. And if it starts pulsing at you, you're going to want to press the sense low, sense lock button. And that is going to lock in on that signal and the lights that light up on the sense level here, those show you how far it is, uh, the ranges for the receiver, and right now it's at five, so it is at five inches for the range, and you can up it to eight by pressing the sense high, you can go down to one by pressing the sense low. So what you're gonna do is you are going to kind of follow it until that light lights up with the arrow and that shows you what direction the short is in so you're just going to follow it through the wiring harness until that light turns off. I'm on the other side of the truck and my receiver is still locked in on the highest level 
to the signal and we are just going to follow the arrow you can see as it's still lit up through this wiring harness until it stops so right here you can see that it stops if you go a little further it'll show that the shorts this way is to the left and then if you back it up a little bit it'll show that it's to the right so you know that the short is right here since it stops. So we know that our short is right here in this little wiring harness because this is the wiring harness that leads to the headlights and it showed us that the short was somewhere in this general area. And so if you want to you can use the top. Once you pull the insulation off you can put this in between the wires and it will show you which wire is the short wire and you're able to flip it around anyway when you're originally trying to find the shorted wire. And if the arrow points one way, you flip it around, it'll still point the same way. So it doesn't matter which way you point it as long as it's parallel to the wires. And I'm going to go ahead, take the insulation off, find my shorted wire, and fix it, and that should fix my head. And if you like this video, please like, subscribe, comment. And thank you so much for watching. We appreciate your views.